Hello, everybody, and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And today, what I want to introduce is a new extension that was launched back in March with the release of version 2021 called Publish Drawing Annotations to Trimble Connect. So I made a couple videos about this topic, showing ways that you could do this using some other extensions. But now we have a dedicated extension in Tackle Structures and in the Trimble Connect 3D Viewer to make it more seamless and easier to work with these files. So I wanted to show how this works. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. You can see that I have the 2D drawing annotations overlaid here in the 3D model. Again, if I spin this around, we can see all of the context within 3D. And then we have some nice easy tools to make this easy to interact with. Um, controlling the transparency, automatically creating clip planes, and orienting the camera for us. So this is a great way to be able to consume the rich 2D data in the context of the 3D model. So I want to walk through how we created this and show you some other examples. This works for general arrangement drawings, assembly drawings, single part drawings, and even cast unit drawings. So if I come over to the warehouse, there's this extension that we've uploaded called Publish Drawing Annotations to Trimble Connect. You can download and install that just like you would any other extension. And then we have some pretty thorough documentation here on the Tecla user existence, showing how to install the extension, how it works. And then one of the things that I wanna highlight is how to install an extension in Trimble Connect Web. So I've never showed that before. So I'll walk you through that process. So if you want, of course, you can read the instructions. I'll go through the highlights here in this video and then show some additional examples at the end. So let me jump into a Tecla model. This is a wonderful example that was provided by JMT Consultants showing the steel and the concrete and rebar detailing all in one project, uh, which is excellent. So I'll show uh, various examples from that. So the first thing that you need to do is link your project to Trimble Connect. So I've already done that. We've covered that in several other videos, so I won't uh, rehash that here. But you need to start the collaboration and then link to an existing project or create a new Trimble Connect project and then upload the 3D model into that project. So you can do that by using this upload button or you can generate an IFC file and upload that there as well. So once that's done and the extension has been installed you can see it here in the applications and components catalog so i'll go ahead and click on this uh, to launch the extension and then what it will do here is it will look for that project in trimble connect uh, to make sure that it identifies the linked project so that the annotations that are uploaded obviously will show up in the right project so before we publish annotations, the first thing that I'm gonna do, and this only has to be done once by one person on the project, is we first need to install the extension into this Connect project. So to do that, I'm here on the Advanced tab. I'll just click it's Install the Extension, and you can see here this note that you need to be an admin on the Connect project to install an extension. So in this case, I already am the admin. If you're not, then you'll need to adjust those rights. Um, and so what we'll do is come over here to the left hand side up to the menu come down to extensions and then click the add button and you can see here that this url of the extension that we're going to install is already populated so i'll just click add and then i can hit add uh, again if i wanted to install more things or whatever the case may be but we're just going to do this one for now you can see here that you have the ability to edit that url uh, to delete it, uh, you can disable that if you want, like these other extensions that you can see here. And then that's basically what we're going to do in this project. So I'm going to close this and close the browser and then come back into Tecla. And then here are a couple other buttons. If I click on Open Connect 3D View, of course, that's going to do the same thing. It's just going to launch the, the 3D browser. And then we can see that this extension has been installed correctly. I have the annotations for Trimble Connect Web. So that's a way to verify uh, that it has been installed correctly. So I'll go back into Tecla um, here on the General tab. Then I have the option to publish annotations. So in order to do that, the first thing that I want to do are select some drawings of things that I want to upload into my Trimble Connect project. So you can see here, I have a couple assembly drawings and then some GA drawings that I'm gonna upload. 
Uh, we could do more, we could do less, but just for this example, those are the ones that I'm going to upload. So I'll go ahead and click on Publish Annotations, and then you'll be able to see here uh, this progress bar showing what it's doing and how many drawings are being uploaded. So we'll give that a minute or two to upload, and then we'll go ahead and move into the Connect Viewer so we can see how these work. So now that it's complete, I'll click on OK, and then open Connect 3D View. That will launch Trimble Connect in my browser. And the first thing that I want to do is turn on my model. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. Like I said before, it could be the IFC or .tecla model. It doesn't matter. In this case, I'll use the IFC file. And then I'll go click on Annotations and enable that so that I can begin using this tool. And there's several sections here within the annotation side pane that I have access to. So the first thing will determine what I want to show in the model, meaning what annotations I want to show in the model. So right now, just assembly drawings would be available for me to choose from. If I click on GA drawings, those would become available. So we'll just focus on one at a time. Then I'll have visibility settings, which I'll explain here more in a minute. And then down under annotation source, if I expand under assembly, I can see the two assembly drawings that I've uploaded, and then if I expand those even further, it's already broken it down into the sections, uh, details, or views that are visible on the drawing. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at the main view of C59. It'll zoom me into that location and orient the camera, turn on the annotations, but then you can see there's a lot of extra information in the view that I don't want to see. And that's where these visibility settings come into play. So if I want to hide all the non-annotated objects, then I can do that just simply by clicking this button. The button above that allows me to control the transparency for non-annotated objects. So in this scenario, you can see the two assembly drawings that are available to be annotated. So if I want to toggle on or turn off that other assembly because there are annotations not currently visible for that, I can use that button and then I can control the object transparency for the currently annotated objects as you can see here. So now if I zoom in, I'm able to see the plate callouts, the part marks, the dimensions, the weld information, the section details, etc. on this assembly, just simply extracted from Tackle Structures and then uploaded into this new extension in Trimble Connect, which is which is pretty slick. So I'll turn that off and let's go ahead and take a look at this section E and click on the camera there. And now when I zoom in here, I can see again the dimension information. This is all of course in 3D. So if I spin that around, we can view it in 3D. I can click the camera to reset the view at any time. But this is a, a great way to consume information within the 3D model. So let's take a look here at this other assembly. So I'll go ahead and turn on these annotations for this main view. If I zoom in on this handrail assembly, I can see these various sections and details. Again, the weld callouts, the dimensions, all, all these annotations that, that typically would be visible in my drawing. So now let's look at section B. I'll go ahead and click the camera. That will take me to that location. And here's a good scenario where I can come in and use the clip planes. So if I click on the clip planes, it will instantly insert six clip planes restricting what's visible in the model based upon what was visible in the view or the section or the detail on the Tecla drawing. And then if I spin this around again, we can see this in 3D. So I can see the welds, I can see the bought out items in this case, um, just like was annotated in the drawing. So that's how the assembly drawings work. What I'll do is remove those clip planes um, and then turn off those annotations. If I want, I can come up here and just reset the entire model. And then let's look at the GA drawings. So I'll turn off the assemblies and then only enable the GA drawings. And then I'll hit the drop down and you can see these are the three GAs that were uploaded. So we've been looking at some steel examples. Let's go ahead and look at some concrete examples. So this is, if I expand this out, we can read this, the rebar silo slab plan. So let's say we wanted to look at section Y, for example. So I'll go ahead and click this button. That will then zoom me into the location. I can turn on these clip planes. And then 
Uh, if I need to adjust any visibility settings, I can certainly do that. But this allows me to see the, the cover dimensions, uh, the callouts for the rebar. If I spin this around again, I can see this in a little bit more context with the concrete in relation to the rebar, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is a great way to be able to utilize the 2D and 3D together all in one location. So let's remove those clip planes, turn off those annotations. We can take a look at E74. And let's just take a look at one of these sections. So for example, let's go to section J. I'll hit the camera. It'll take me to that location. Use my clip planes to refine that a little more cleanly. Here I can see that I have a fill weld. So if I spin this around, I can see it in a little more context that I have these plates that'll be fill welded to the tops of the channel. This allows the guys out on site to be able to consume this information in a better way where they can view it in 3D with the 2D information overlaid on top of it. So as mentioned before, this is an extension that's available for download on the Tecla Warehouse. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.